right here to you, I will not go on too long. So many different things to talk about. But I think what probably has struck me most is I came, so my father was in Congress for 22 years before me. He came from, he got into politics by working in the Chicago Park District. People in the neighborhood got to know him. He ran for committeeman of the 23rd Ward in Chicago. Then there was an opening, he ran for alderman. And from there, he ran for, for Congress. But, and it was all, he never, he went to Congress, and he never lost sight of being I'm the representative of the people in the community, and what people really want is to have good communities to live in, to raise their families in, to have economic opportunity. That's what it's really all about, and it comes back down to the community. And our politics in this country have gone completely in the opposite direction. No one seems to care anymore about community. Uh, <coughs> It's all about these national issues, and then we have these two buckets, as, as Mike was saying, oh, I've been just going on and on about this for a while. There's not just two ways of thinking about everything. There's not just a red bucket and a blue bucket. I never fit in that blue bucket. I was a Democrat because that's where I came from. That's how I could <clears throat> run for office and be elected, but people would challenge me, especially on the pro-life side, and say, how could you be a Democrat? And I'd say, if I couldn't be pro-life, if I was, if I couldn't be pro-life, I wouldn't continue to be a Democrat, but I still vote the way that I believe is, is what is right. And I think what we see going on in politics today is, is terrible, where people are representing a party, and I think both parties are bankrupt right now, and they are, you know, our, our country is, uh, they're not helping our country, I'll just put it, put it nicely, they believe. I was always motivated, and hopefully my actions show that I am motivated by Jesus Christ on the cross, my Catholic faith. But what that means to me also is I believe in America, and the idea of America, and liberal democracy and pluralism. Uh, I don't think that the church should be taking over, somehow running government but what we need to do is we need to get people involved. We, our voices, we need to get involved and our voices need to be heard. And we need to convince other people of what we believe. Those who don't agree with us, first we need those who agree with us to get them active and activated. And that's where community organizing comes in. It was always the, the, the phrase of the left. We need to be doing that. Okay? And I, I just think that that's where we start, and then we need to be bringing people along with us. And we don't do that as politics has become, is I'm not the other guy, the other guy's more evil than I am. We need to be positive about what we are offering to people. And no matter how disgusted we are with anything that's going on in our, in our communities, we need to be talking about a positive vision. That's how you draw people in, and I know it's really hard, right? but I'm now, if people ask me, you know, what are you doing in retirement, and I'm working as hard as I've always been working, uh, that's just the way I am, but I'm blessed to have the opportunity to do things I'm really, really excited about and want to, and want to do. I'm working on writing a book right now that's basically about my career in Congress, overcoming the divide in how I didn't, ne I never became what I call a sectarian Democrat. We have two pseudo-religious entities now, uh, fundamental pseudo-religious entities. And that's what partisanship has become is this identity. And that our country can't survive that way. And I stuck to believing in the ideal of America, the best of America, and our constitutional democracy because of my, my, my Catholic faith. Right? So I just want to encourage all of you to get involved. And I have to say, and I told Peter this earlier, in 2020, I was so happy that the American Solidarity Party was on the ballot for president because I voted for that, that ticket, uh, Rudy Omar, as VP. So that's, I was proud to cast that vote. 
maybe the um, most proud I've been, because my first story I looked at was the Ronald Reagan back in 1984. Um, but, uh, you know, Thank you. I'll shut myself up now. Uh, but <laughs> thank you all for being here and get involved. And that's where you, you start locally. That's what you, you have to do. Um, and that's how we make the difference. Go back and slide. That's how you read Democracy in America. No, you can't read the whole thing. Um, that's too long. Uh, but Oakville is amazing how much he, he had right. And that's what makes America great. Is we do things in our communities to make our communities better. And we're driven by our our, our faith in God. So thank you. Thanks.